Join me as I become the world's greatest chef or burn down my entire kitchen. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome to Cooking Simulator. The game is exactly what it says it is. It's a simulator where you cook, which I'm not very good at. So this is gonna be an interesting experiment. Anyways, let's jump into a new game. I've never played this game before, so I am interested to see what it's like. Welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. Your task is to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. The last chef left the kitchen covered in sticky notes. Maybe they'll be of some use to you. Good luck. Okay, sticky notes. All right, we've got a tutorial to work through because the game wants me to know how to actually play it. So I guess we gotta do some basic repairs here. That's a lovely note that the previous chef left for us. Uh, I'm excited about that. So this is basically a prison cell. Money, try not to go bankrupt. I mean, that's pretty good general rule of thumb. One down, four to go. We still need to fix the other ovens. Okay, how about home repair, fast and smooth? Let's do it, let's do it again. Let's go for it again. There you go. We got everything fixing. Great job. Put the phone away. We won't be needing it anytime soon. All right. Okay, no time to take a breather. This place is empty and we're going to do something about it. Find the cardboard boxes. Hover over one of them and press the button. Okay. Select the utensils tab and buy a blender. Okay. I will do that. Now I need to put the blender away because I can only carry one item at a time. Where do I... I mean, do I just... Just kind of drop it right there? Can I just... Put the, oh, I probably shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> Use the shop to buy equipment from the list. All right, let's browse the shop, which is also a cardboard box. Okay, so here's what we need to buy. Okay, I just basically bought everything that was in the utensils tab. Now I need to use the laptop to unlock basic recipes. Buy a recipe for baked trout by clicking on the highlighted button. Okay, let's get that baked trout. Looks delicious. Okay, you want me to buy salmon steak and boiled potatoes? Looks less delicious. And the last one's tomato soup. Okay, exit the laptop. I can do that. Okay, we got repairs, utensils, recipes. Yes, we'll need spices. Okay, the time has finally come for us to bake baked trout. Look, someone ordered a dish. I mean, it is a restaurant. I would hope that someone would order something. Oh my gosh, it's Gordon Ramsay. Right, we need a trout. That was a terrible Gordon Ramsay impression. I apologize for that. Let's go to the marked area. Where's the marked area? It's right over here. We go to the refrigerator. We gotta grab ourselves some trout. Boom, grab the trout. I got the trout. Put trout on cutting board. No problem. Shablam, that's your new home, Mr. Trout. Season the trout. Okay, I need to grab... Uh, the, the black pepper. Where's, there's the black pepper. And we take some of that and we just season that bad boy. Just, just a little sprinkle. Shablam! There you go. You get a little sprinkle like that. I don't, uh, oh, five grams. It actually tells you how much you're supposed to put on there. I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. Just put that, that, uh, pepper right over there. I need some dried dill. How much dill? 5G. We got this. Blap, 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 blap. Perfect. It's gorgeous. What do you think of that, Gordon? Now take the trout and place it on the baking tray. Okay, I can do that. Where's the baking tray? It's right there. Bam. Put that guy there. Put it in the oven. Drop that guy in there. How, how do I go in? I need a crouch. There we go. Right there. Use the top dial to turn on the oven. Okay, I can do that. Boom. Wait, no. That's the wrong... That's the wrong oven. You need to cook here. Okay, there. Buy a lemon? We need to prepare lemon quarters. It's not a completed trout without the lemon quarters. Oh, I got the hang of this. It's like I I actually know what I'm doing. I don't, for the record. Cut lemon into four pieces. Oh, good. So we'll go, whatcha? And then we'll go, whatcha? And then we'll go, whablam! There you go. There's your four pieces. Perfectly even pieces, might I add. So perfect. So which cut should we use? Probably this one. This is the most wedge of the of the bunch. Or do I have to use all of them? I don't know. Okay, so I guess we're just waiting for the trout to, to finish up here. I guess we'll just stare. Is it done yet? How about now? What's this thing? Is this egg timer? What should I set it to? A minute. There we go. We set the timer. Buy a plate. You can quickly transfer progress. And, okay, oh, so the, the trout's done. I need a plate though. Oh, I have a plate right here. Boom, there we go. 
Okay, we need to plate this delicious meal, right? Is it done? Is it done cooking? Put trout on plate. I think it's done. So I'm gonna turn the oven off. I'm gonna take this guy out. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the trout. Come, on, come, come here, trout. Oh no, it's too hot. How do I, how do I do that? Wait, wait, no, maybe I can. There we go, okay, that's what we're talking about. All right, and then we need the, uh, the horseradish. Horseradish? Do I have horseradish? I do, okay, good. Season that bad boy up. The egg timer just went off and it continues to go off. That was a terrible choice. I shouldn't have turned on the egg timer, but I did because I can't control myself. Okay, uh, put that down and then, uh, and then we're done. Pick it up, okay. What about the lemons? Oh, we need to put the lemons, okay, okay. We grab those, go bam, bam, bam. No, don't put the, don't put the trout on the cutting board. That's not how that works. It's, it's the most beautiful dish I've ever seen. Finally pick some fresh parsley. Okay, parsley, is that you? That's you, parsley. Okay, there you go. Oh man, I really gotta turn off that egg timer because that is real bad. I'm, I'm gonna do that first because this is really annoying. All right, let's finish the parsley garnish. Shablam. Mmm, delectable. Good, the dish is done. Now you need to serve it. Put it on the checkout counter. Oh, it's right here. All right. I've done it. Um, okay, serve dish, and there you go. Take away that trout, mysterious app. And I just got a bunch of achievements. Oh my gosh. Gordon Ramsay better watch out, because I'm I'm gonna take his job. Now I know how to play the game. Awesome. This is this is a cool game. This is a fun time. I think it's time to try out sandbox mode. Just see what kind of shenanigans we can get into with cooking simulator 2019 do we have unlimited funds in sandbox mode how can i find out if i go into the shop here oh yeah that is infinite monies right there look at all these produce we've got we got pumpkins you think we can make pumpkin pie so i don't see pumpkin pie in any of the options that we have here we have pumpkin soup but let's be real that ain't no pumpkin pie so i think we're just gonna wing it Try to make pumpkin pie on our own. So of course we have our pumpkin. We gotta we gotta cut the, the pumpkin. Maybe? I don't know. Seems like a good place to start. Chop this bad boy up. Hoo-cha! 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 Look at this. Look at this skill. Such elegance. Such grace. I mean, I guess I'm just I'm just kinda trying to mince up the the pumpkin so that it, it it's kind of in some some smaller bits and pieces. So that maybe I can I can blend it. I don't I don't know how I make pumpkin pie. Like I said, we're winging it. Oh, I like the look of this. Okay, wait. I'm gonna grab this bucket here, and I'm gonna throw all of these bits and pieces of pumpkin inside of this bucket. Okay, that seems pretty good. We got a bunch of you know pumpkin bits in this bucket. I think we need to add some water here. So let's do that, and then you know we'll make like a bit of a, a slurry here. How do I? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then I need to rotate the faucet fill that guy up see now we got pumpkin and water we're gonna turn this into like a, a, a mash 2.5 liters of water sure let's go with that that seems good uh, I need to turn off the water though please turn off okay now check this out check this out I got this hand blender right here this thing's got all the power that we could ever imagine we put this guy in here turn it on let's blend 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 all those pumpkiny bits Together, oh, I, I think we're kind of getting like a, a a pumpkin mash here. Something's happening, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. What about this food processor? Can I dump all this gunk in the food processor? Put this. No, no, no. Don't pour. No, I I want the the bucket to be poured into the food processor. Can can we make that happen? Yes. This. This is what we want. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> This is, this is not, not the way that I was planning on this thing lining up. Here we go. Into the food processor. Yeah, okay. Sure, perfect. Very well done. Very good. No, everything fell out. Okay, this is fine. This is all part of my plan. Trust me, I'm an expert. Okay, let's try this again. This whole thing. We're gonna turn on the water. And put this guy in there. Fill that up with water. We're gonna make ourselves, you know, the pumpkin filling. At some point, I should probably be cooking all of this, but, you know, cooking it is overrated. Power this bad boy on. Look at that. Look at that beautiful slurry. We've got the beautiful pumpkin filling right there. Gorgeous. <laughs> soup. <laughs> it's not soup, it's pumpkin pie. Okay, we definitely need sugar. Lots of sugar 
and probably allspice as well. Let's sugar this bad boy up. More. More sugar. Nice and sugary. I don't even want you to be able to taste the pumpkin. I just want you to think that you're just eating pure sugar. 103 grams of sugar. That seems good. How about some allspice? Spice this guy up. 31 grams of allspice. Works for me. Okay. Next step is the crust. So how do we make the beautiful crust of our pumpkin pie? We take some bread. Because, I mean, crust is basically bread. It just holds a pie in it. It's pie bread. Fact. So as you can see, we have our pumpkin pie crust ready to go, but we need to make it a little bit more crusty. So I'm gonna try this technique right here. Just gonna, okay, yep, this all part of the master plan. Just need to, okay, I need to get that thing a little bit closer. Don't worry about turning the blender off. Just let it run, let it run its course. Okay, try that again. Blend up that bread. Get that bread nice and crusty, okay? Check it out. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. We're making pumpkin pie crust. So skilled. Boom. Okay, you got the crust. Maybe add a little salt, because it just seems like the thing I should do. Just gonna... Little, little peppering of salt there, okay? Throw that in the oven. Bowl and all. The whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle. Just get that guy right in there. Just... Here we go. Just throw it in there. Okay, it doesn't fit. That's fine. I knew that. I knew it wasn't gonna fit. I was just testing you guys. That's why you got the really big oven right here, right? Okay, it's not really much bigger, is it? Okay, you know what's even better than just baked pie crust? Deep fried pie crust. See, we're gonna we're gonna deep fry it. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. Kinda got stuck in the bottom. Oh, you know, there's there's no oil in the fryer. That's my bad. My mistake. We're gonna deep fry in sunflower oil. Oops, we're gonna use avocado oil now. And basically all you gotta do to get it in there is just chuck it as hard as you can. There you go, problem solved. Okay, just cook that bad boy. And we'll just take the basket that has some of the residue of our, of our pie crust. While we're at it, you know, we might as well add a little bit more. Just get that guy in there. Okay, perfect. Oh, there's a literal button that you can press to, uh, you know, begin filling the, the thing with oil so it was all part of my plan obviously <laughs> we'll run with this deep frying method here maybe take some of these bits of pumpkin that have only been on the floor for maybe the last 15 minutes or so that's totally sanitary right and we'll just drop these guys in the deep fryer you know that that there you go boom deep fried pumpkin we'll garnish our our pumpkin pie with that now let's get our delicious crust out here i'll go ahead and Drain that oil, turn that guy down. All right, oh, it's a little hot. It's a little toasty. Who doesn't like a little bit of toastiness with their pie? Well, we'll just grab this plastic bowl here and put that bread in there. That's real nice. Ooh, that's gonna be delicious. Mmm. Of course, we gotta blend this up. Once again, there we go, our crust is back. And then, of course, we have our pie filling here. Here we go. Let's get this guy over to our pie crust, and we'll go ahead and dump that in there. There you go. Mmm, that is looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Of course, we need our fried garnish here. That right there. And then just grab those pumpkin bits. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, no pumpkin pie is complete without whipped cream. Now, I don't think that we have whipped cream here, but we do have just milk, so... The logical conclusion here is, of course, to, to put some, some whipped milk on top of the cake. Let's go ahead and dump that in right there. There you go. Okay. And voila! Pumpkin pie. One of my greatest creations ever. I'm just going to go ahead and deep fry that bad boy. Let's see what happens here. So there you have it, guys. Oh. I just uh, blew up half of my kitchen because I put a, a gas tank inside the deep fryer. Probably a bad idea, but at least this pumpkin pie turned out real good. So there you have it, guys. Proof that I am the world's greatest cook. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, 
and I will see you guys next time.